Hey everyone, this is Scott from Forgot to Grow. Welcome to our latest TV talk. Today I'm talking about Amazon launching the Prime Video Store in Canada. So the Prime Video Store is Amazon's version of iTunes or Google Play, which is a storefront online which allows you to buy or rent new or old movies. Uh, so this is the feature has been available on uh, Prime Video in the US, in the UK, Japan and Germany, I believe, were the other ones. Uh, and it has just been announced this week that they're really launching this as well in Canada on Prime Video. And I think this is a really smart idea for them. And I think it's an idea that they maybe even should have done sooner since it's been available in these other countries already. But they have launched this feature, which, like I said, allows you to buy and rent movies now on Prime Video itself. Movies that they don't have for you to stream, and you can do this even if you don't have a Prime subscription. So if you don't subscribe to Prime, you now have another avenue where you can uh, buy or rent movies. And I think this is a smart way to, a smart idea because there are lots of people who use Amazon who don't maybe subscribe to the Prime part of it. Uh, and then there's a lot of us who do subscribe to Prime who would like the feature of being able to buy or rent on the on Prime Video in order to keep our collection in one place or to have collections in one place as it were. Uh, and so I think this is a really smart time for them to be launching this during you know, the lockdown, we're all home more. So the fact that they're expanding this to Canada uh, is just a smart play. And obviously I like it because I'm in Canada. So I get to take advantage of this and I just like it because it just makes it a little easier to be able to have more uh, places where I can rent uh, a new movie if I want to, or I can rent old movies. But the thing I thought was part of the smartest part about this idea is that it gives you an ability to, um, it takes away the, or not takes away the ability, but it takes away from having to do what, do what I call app bouncing, which is bouncing between the different services to try and maybe watch a full um, franchise of a certain movie. If you want to watch all the DCEU movies and you don't have, if, and you don't live in the US, so you don't have the DC Universe app, you have to hop between a couple different apps sometimes to watch all the different ones. So this um, new feature of the Prime, uh, Prime Video Store where you can buy or rent movies uh, allows you to watch a few of the movies of a franchise on a, uh, that they have available on their streaming already, uh, but if they don't have the complete collection. So let's take um, Indiana Jones, for example, if they've got the first three streaming, but they don't have the Crystal Skull. And I know most people don't want to stream that, but if you're a completionist like me and you're like, well, I can't watch three out of four of a franchise. It just drives me insane in my brain. Um, so it's great to be able to have the option of, you know, you stream the first three using Prime Video and then are able to watch the fourth, even though I don't believe uh, Indiana Jones is available on it. That was just an example of a franchise that, you know, is very, I could very easily see how they wouldn't have the rights to the entire franchises because the, the older the franchise, the more likely it is that their distribution rights are more spread out between different studios. So that makes means it's less likely that one streaming service will have them all. So I think this is really smart for Prime Video to kind of be able to offer this feature, which will allow people to be able to you know, be able to binge or watch entire franchises without having to do as much app hopping because you can still do app hopping so that you don't have to pay for it. That's why a lot of us do it is to find much of the stream, especially for those of us who have multiple streaming services. We hop between the find where we, you know, we're already paying for the streaming service. So we want to, we don't have to double pay if we can watch it on one of them. But I do like this for those movies that you're like, oh, they're not on any of the they're not on any of the streaming services at the moment for whatever reason. There's so many different reasons why something won't be on streaming right now or will only be available to rent. There are certain things that you can watch on streaming, but you can't rent. So I just like this as a kind of an, an, op, an option that just expands your abilities when you're watching on Prime Video. And I think it's just, just a smart play for them in general, uh, uh, giving more access to people who, um, like I said, don't uh, subscribe to Prime Video specifically who want to be able to just rent uh, things. Lots of people still have um, different um, Amazon products because they do tablets and um, smart TVs and um, smart TV connects, um, which allow you to you know connect to different streaming services. But you might not, just because you have one of those products doesn't necessarily mean you have Prime Video as or Prime, a Prime subscription as well, which is the only way to get Prime Video. So I just think it's really smart to learn them kind of opening up this option, this option, which, you know, doesn't really cost them anything. That's one of the smart things about having this type of storefront with I like the same as iTunes and Google. They don't really pay that much up front for these that have the rights to um, buy or rent um, these movies and really the titles on their platform because what ends up happening is that movies that the studios that they make these deals with end up just taking the largest chunk 
of the movie's rental cost or the um, or the purchase price of a, of a movie and then the platform so in this case it'd be prime video takes a small chunk so itunes is famous for the fact that they take like a pretty big chunk of like app store stuff because because that's how they work and they you know they use the whole because they're the platform and people are going to come to them because these otherwise studios would have to have every studio would have to have their own movie rental thing online and that's just that's not really feasible so this is just like i think smart you know, adds a adds another uh, player online who you can rent movies from and just opens up that ability a little bit more uh, and yes yeah, so i think it's just a step, step in the right direction because they don't have to it's not costing them as much as having to pay for these movies to have for streaming especially when it's a newer movie and some, uh, newer releases obviously are going to cost more for them to get on a streaming service and uh, they're a little more hesitant uh, studios will be more hesitant with a new with new releases because they can make some money off the rentals and off the um, online purchases and DVD purchases so if it's on a streaming service that cuts down on that a little bit so uh, this just offers a new place for studios to rent it without kind of taking away from their own business they're not giving up anything because they're just it's just a new place for um studios to pretty much to uh, sell and rent out their new releases and their old releases uh without having to commit to full-on um streaming uh, uh contracts where it's you know we've seen all this stuff with the office and all these other and the and friends and stuff like that the the streaming wars going on and so this kind of just takes them almost out of the streaming wars by able by kind of supplementing their streaming wars with um the ability to, for because there are people who still rent movies and who um buy movies online so uh this ability i think is just smart to just kind of open it up for canada as well uh and it didn't really they already had the feature built for other countries so it was just a matter of regulation stuff i imagine before they could do it um but yeah that's pretty much all my thoughts on this uh, on amazon launching Pri the prime video store in canada i will be making a video as well about why i think netflix should also do this and i'll link that at the end of the video right here or here in the comments or in the description and all that fun stuff but yes thanks again for joining me today subscribe to you if you're not already and have a good one